A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Thursday after Ash Wednesday. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Punzalan SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. On the second day of Lent, we will listen to the story of Jesus predicting about His death. The Gospel is a part of the prediction of the Lord's death and resurrection. At the same time, the Gospel spells out to us the cause of discipleship. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you, and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Louder. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways, and keeping his commandments, statutes and decrees you will live and grow numerous 
and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life, then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding His voice and holding fast to Him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you, to live on the land that the Lord swore He would give to your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. And then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself. He must take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world yet lose or forfeit himself. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear people of God, this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the second day of the Lenten season. 
The Vatican II Missal says, The ashes are scarcely washed clean from our foreheads. In this second Lenten Mass, we get down to work on our spiritual program. My dear brothers and sisters, we have exactly 39 days to go before Good Friday. We have enough time to meditate on the 40 days and 40 nights that our Lord spent in the Garden of Gethsemane before His death by crucifixion. Yesterday, the whole Christendom started the 40-day journey of penitence. Yesterday, we started our 40-day Lenten retreat or 40-day Lenten pilgrimage, a deep review of our life. To help us in this effort, the Church points out to us a path that can be summarized in three powerful words. Number one is prayer. Number two is fasting. And number three is almsgiving. Whoever takes this message seriously must also make the commitment to a new life inspired by the gospel values. It is a matter of moving from a superficial life to a deeper interiority, from selfishness to charity, of striving to live according to the model of Christ himself. And this is our assignment for all of us, including myself. As we enter more seriously into the Lenten spirit, the Gospel reading today reminds us how Jesus informed the disciples about his approaching passion, death, and resurrection. Our Lord knew he must actually die to this world in order to obtain eternal redemption for us. Our Lord instructed the disciples about the meaning of the cross. And the cross that he talks about here is our cross, your cross, my cross, not somebody else's cross, not the cross of Jesus, but our cross. He instructed us about the significance of the cross and why it is necessary for the disciples to carry up or to take up the cross. In the Gospel reading on the second part of it today, our Lord lays down the conditions of discipleship, the price or the cost of discipleship. Our Lord describes the area of concentration and the dimensions of our Lenten journey or program. The liturgy today teaches us that it is the life of the soul that we are concerned with during these days. I have three little points. Number one, a person must learn to deny himself. A person must learn to deny himself. Self-denial is a form of self-sacrifice. It is not easy to deny anything to oneself. Thus, self-denial is like dying to oneself. To deny oneself is to say to oneself, I do not know myself. I will say no to myself. It is to ignore the very existence of oneself by dying to this world. And it is to treat the self as if the self is not important. And usually, we treat ourselves as if our self is far and away the most important thing in the world. But if we are to follow the Lord, we must slowly learn to forget 
the self. He must deny himself. Say no to yourself so that we can say yes to God. The second point. A person must take up his cross daily. A person must take up his cross daily. Our Lord Jesus knew what crucifixion meant. To take up our cross daily. Underline daily. Not weekly, not monthly, not yearly, but daily. It means to be prepared to endure the worst that man can do to us for the sake of being true to the Lord. That is why when the Lord says, Take up your cross daily. It wants to teach us that Christianity is not easy. Christianity is not for the weak. Christianity is for the strong. Christianity is for the brave. The third and last point. A person must spend his life, not hoard his life. What does this mean? The whole commandment of the world standards must be changed. The questions are not, How much can I get? But how much can I give? Not what is the safe thing to do, but what is the right thing to do. Not what is the minimum permissible in the way of work, but what is the maximum possible? The Christian must realize that he is given life, not to keep for himself, but to share with others. Not to husband its flame, but to burn it out for Christ and for others. My dear friends, let us continue to persevere in our Lenten pilgrimage. Amen. All rise, please. Our Lord calls us to follow Him, to carry the cross after Him, to entrust to Him all those who suffer. Let the response be, Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation that as members of the church we may imbibe in our lives the spirit of the cross and be willing to suffer for the sake of christ and the gospel we pray jesus let your cross be our salvation that the leaders of our country may hear the cries of suffering people and may show commitment to the eradication of oppression and exploitation in society we pray Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. That those who are suffering the poor, the sick, the handicapped, and prisoners may never fall in despair, but experience the comfort of God's love. We pray. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. That those who are alone in life may find companions who are willing to help them bear their crosses. We pray. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. We pray for our dear seminarian Daniel James Melgarejo, who celebrates his birthday today. May the Heavenly Father strengthen him in his chosen vocation and give him courage to persevere. We pray. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. For our civil and political leaders, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and come to the aid of those lacking in basic necessities of life and devise social and economic solutions for the welfare of the citizenry. We also pray and thank for the ordinary people who find ways to help the least and the less among the society. May the true Bayanihan spirit prevail among all of us. We pray. Jesus, let your cross be our salvation. That our beloved dead may be one with God 
and their loved ones in heaven for all eternity. We pray. Jesus, By let your cross be our salvation. Be our salvation. God, our Father, the passion and death of your Son brought life to the world. Help us to recognize the crosses and sufferings, not just in the great trials of life, but in day-to-day -day choices. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon the sacred altar, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us again give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with a joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. 
gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this every time you remember me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, remember your servants, Darlene Madlambayan, Grace Aceron Rogelio, Emiterio Mehoy, Leoni de la Torre, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, and welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray in the same way Jesus prayed. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace that can only come from the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet each other with a sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. The Lord says, Whoever loves his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus calling all of us to a life of discipleship. The Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world, and happy are those invited to his meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. During Holy Communion, 
We shall proceed by rows. Kindly wait for the ushers. While waiting in line, please observe the proper distance from one another, proper wearing of face mask, and sanitize your hands before receiving the body of Christ. Holy Communion will be given by hand. To maintain a safe distance from our presider, please extend your arms in receiving the Holy Communion, keeping your face mask on. After receiving the body of Christ, please make a few side steps to your side, depending on where you are seated, and now remove your mask to consume the body of Christ. Please make sure to put on your face mask before walking back to your seat. Thank you. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who have made known to your people the ways of eternal life, lead them by that path we pray to you, the unfading light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness in life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all 
and to help those in need. We are concerned and compassion for each other. See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson. Saints Arnold Janssen and Joseph Reinademitz. Please be seated for some announcements. Bukas na po sa lahat na nagnanais makiisa sa pagdiriwang ng banal na Eucharistia ang dambana ni Jesus, ang banal na salita. Maaari pong dalhin lang ang inyong mga vaccination cards. Mga oras ng misa ay ang mga sumusunod. Pag lunes hanggang sabado, tuwing ikaanim at kalahati ng umaga at ikaanim ng gabi, tuwing linggo, ikawalo ng umaga, ikasampu ng umaga, ikaapat ng hapon at ikaanim ng gabi. Hinggil naman po sa pangungumpisal, ito po ay ginaganap tuwing sabado mula ikaapat hanggang ikalima ng hapon. Inaanyayahan din pong lahat na makibahagi sa isasagawang pag-iistasyon ng krus mula ikaapat ng Marso at sa lahat ng Biyernes pagtungo ng mahal na araw. Gaganapin po ito tuwing ikalima ng hapon. Abangan na lamang po ang iba pang pong pabatid sa mga gawain sa mahal na araw. The fast to feed a child an Ash Wednesday fundraising campaign to feed poor children of the Hapag Asa Integrated Nutrition Program is seeking your help to feed the hungry children. For those who wish to reach out, envelopes are available at the back of the shrine and at the shrine office. You may leave your envelopes at the collection boxes. Thank you. Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo SVD, Shrine Rector. Good morning from Christ the King Mission Seminary in Quezon City, Philippines, and to our mass goers in online mass goers in Europe, in Americas, in the Americas, in Africa, as well as in South America, wherever you are, Australia, and eight parts of Asia, we would like to greet you a pleasant good morning from the Philippines and pleasant good evening if it's evening in your country. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our donors and benefactors, those who continue to send their most valuable financial help or assistance to our seminarians here at Christ the King. We would like to acknowledge in a very special way the following without mentioning their family names. Almi, June and Malu, Maria Arli, Cheryl, Irene, Anne-Marie, Bleseda, Julius, Freddy, and Cora, CKMS High School Class of 1972, Maria Rachel, Maria Loreto, Karina, Arsenio, Alan, Arsenio, Rosalie, Maribel, Genevieve, maraming salamat, Anastasia, Maria Angeles, Patricio, maraming salamat, Felizardo, Lucille, Elizabeth, Miles, maraming salamat. Oliven, Ning, maraming salamat. Richelle, maraming salamat. Amon and Gigi, Rochelle, maraming salamat. Ruby and Manny and Lalaine, maraming salamat. I'd like also to continue introducing our seminarians at Christ the King by batches. We started this a few weeks ago and I promise that we will introduce today the seminarians from the Visayas, from Samar, from Aklan, and from Bohol. May I requ request 
the seminarians from the Visayas to come forward in order to be recognized. Samar, Aklan, and Bohol. These are our seminarians from Samar, Aklan. Stay in the middle, please. Samar, Aklan, and Bohol. They are coming from different year levels. They're studying philosophy here at Christ the King. They are some of the seminarians that you are helping. Please, uh, thank you very much for helping us, for helping these gentlemen who will be our future priests and divine word missionaries. Let us remove the mask, mask so that you can be seen. Gentlemen, remove the mask so that your handsome faces can be seen in different parts of the world. Let us give these seminarians a round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You may go back to your seats. Next uh, Tuesday, we will present the seminarians from Mindanao. And to be followed by the NCR, a National Capital Region, on Thursday. And uh, I am very happy and very proud to announce that this coming Saturday, at the Divine Word Seminary in Tagaytay, we will have five new SVD priests who will be ordained. Five new deacons who will be ordained priests as Divine Word missionaries this coming Saturday at Tagaytay in our major seminary. Christ the King is our school of philosophy. Divine Word Seminary in Tagaytay is our school of theology. These five gentlemen who will be our new priests in the Philippine SVD, one of them is going to be a missionary to Paraguay. Two others are staying in the Philippines, or three others are staying in the Philippines, and one of them is assigned to Timor-Leste. Let us, even if you do not know them, and even if we cannot see their faces, let us congratulate them by giving them another round of applause. Congratulations to our new SVD priests this coming Saturday. And to our benefactors and donors, the seminarians that you are helping here in Christ the King, someday they will also be priests. So please continue to help them. Please do not forget our seminarians. Help them with your prayers and help them with your financial aid. We will certainly be honoring and not forgetting the assistance and the commitment and the help that you have been extending to us, especially to our seminarians here at Christ the King. And if you would like to help, and I'd like to encourage you to help, we are showing the the way by which you can help in front of you on your screen is or are our bank details the bank details with Banco de Oro account name Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc and the account number is 0002201900 247. We are also keeping a, an email address that you can use if you want to communicate with us. I will be the one to respond to the email, but you have to be patient because I can sometimes, or most of the time, I cannot, I cannot do it quickly, but I will. And we are also keeping two GCash numbers, 0967318, it's being flashed on your screen, 9830. 0967-318-9830 and 0945-743-0935 Our debt of gratitude is endless. Our debt of gratitude is something that we will treasure for a long time. Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga tumutulong sa ating mga seminarista. Good morning, Attorney Selly in Cebu. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord.
Thanks be to God. Holy Trinity.